DC bowling rights, Disney movies have been coming and going for the past and present for decades. And there are some times where some people have forgotten or didn't like the first time around, but grew a better appreciation later. My question is what animated or live action Disney movies do you guys feel are underappreciated? Thanks and keep pumping up the volume. Okay, I'll Christian volume. Slater. Thanks for writing that one. <laughs> yeah. Now look, I have my two horses that I will always say are two of the, not just underrated, but the best Disney movies of all time. But if anything, I am not a shoot first point guard. I distribute the ball around. So I'm going to throw it guard. to you guys. But if you guys take my movies, I will weep about it openly. Dennis, you're up first. Uh, I have for the animated side, I have uh, The Hunchback of Notre Dame Ooh, and Mulan. I think those two are underrated. For live action, I have Enchanted. That was the one with Amy Adams, yes. Patrick mm. Dempsey, and uh, James Marsden. Who were you in that movie? I was uh, uh, right behind her when she, uh, she stepped on a midget in New York City. And I was like, hey, watch it. That was nice. That's nice. Cool. Did you? Uh, did she know you were right behind her? Or was that like a? Uh, <laughs> that were, you, a were you actually in extra. the movie, or yeah. were you uh, someone walking was, on the streets of New York that just happened to get into? the I movie? was a well-placed extra. Okay. Then. Nice. Fun fact: when you watch extra. Three Men and a Baby, Josh McCook is the dead kid. Yeah. Oh. In the window. Oh. Whoa! Oh. What do you got for your? <laughs> it's a cardboard cutout of Ted Danson. It's not real. It was an urban legend. It's why the internet ruins fun. Can't believe you Chef, went to the dead baby got? thing. I, what do I got? Um, it's not a dead baby. It was a dead kid. Dead kid, dead baby. Same thing, right? Y youth it all goes so quick black hole live action i want to see maximilian and vincent oh. old bob back on that you know the what was it the cygnus maximilian come on guys you guys they're too they're too young so it's a film that came out in the 80s Bad. and didn't make a lot of money it's called the black hole so that's a live action one animation i'm gonna say the black cauldron but just i think a day or two ago Ooh, yeah they announced that they're actually using the original books and going with that and doing a live action new series like a trilogy so those are my two. If the crawl shirt didn't hook you, the black <laughs> hole will. Hell Josh yeah. McCuga, what do you got? Favorite underrated Disney flicks? Uh, I don't really have a live action one, but I do have an animated one. And it's the, the original Robin Hood that they yeah, did. That was one of mine. God, it was one of mine. I love, I had that taped off TV on a VHS. Mm -hmm. It's like a childhood thing. My brother and I used to watch all the time. My dad loved it. Uh, just really cool. The fox plays Robin Hood. The king is the lion. He's It's all these old timey voice actors. I mean, it's 1973, I think that movie came out. Mm -hmm. Just really really well done. You remember the shaggy dog that was in the archery competition and he lines up and he's got his like ears are flapping it so just just blows it yeah, up and uh -huh. then he can shoot it really yeah. well. Uh, so I had Robin Hood is that mm -hmm. one. I think that came out in 1973 originally. Yeah. We also had a VHS copy yes. and the sword in the stone. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. The legend of Arthur has never been told better unless maybe Monty Python and the Holy Grail. But that one was on repeat in the Ellis VCR in the late eighties. Love, love, love the sword of the stone. Check it out. And I would get in trouble with my girlfriend. If I didn't mention the Aristocats and Oliver and company and the Fox and the hound, it'll make you cry the best tears. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.